I'll call him Dwayne, uh, who's slowly pushing a big heavy boulder up one side of a hill. And we're almost at the top. We're just pushing and pushing and pushing. So <clears throat> if we stop pushing right now, and that boulder just rolls backwards and crushes us and goes to the bottom of the hill. We're going to start moving. Welcome to a Wednesday morning. No, I'm sorry, Friday, Thursday morning. I don't know. Does it matter? Here we go, baby jumping jacks. <clears throat> All right, so back to the boulder story. So if we stop pushing, it rolls backwards and over top of us. Now, if we just put in like a 50% effort, all we really do is keep the boulder in one position. We're not getting ahead. We're also not getting crushed, so that's good. Now, with just that little extra effort, we keep the boulder going. It will get to the top. We'll crest the hill, and it'll roll over to the other side. That's the goal. Beginning of December, pushing the boulder up the hill. Uh, we're almost there. And sometimes pushing the boulder can be fun. So it's not just arduous tasks. Anyways, uh, three, two, one, side shuffle. So we're kind of near the second half of the second week of the social media make a comment challenge. So congratulations to all the winners from last week. Uh, any comment? I love the comments you guys are making, by the way, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, uh, extra entry. Each one gives you an entry into our weekly draw for uh, Amazon gift card. So we did a draw from Instagram, a draw from Facebook, a draw from YouTube. And then we also take names from people who just show up. Okay? Side shuffling. Let's speed it up. <clears throat> Whatever speed you've got. Try to go a little faster. And we're moving. And we're smiling. Three, two, one. And stop doing that and hike out the butt kickers. All right, so today all abs, back by popular demand. Just to be clear, so none of you start to suspect or try to figure out who requested all abs. To be honest, no one did. That's just my idea. My fault, my idea. I'm on this side of the camera, so, hey, that's how it works. Let's jog this out. <clears throat> Until we're face to face again, I am just doing whatever I want. Because the debates, when we return, the debates about which exercise is too hard or too much is just going to go through the roof. You keep doing this, I'll be right back. But this is what I'm going to come with when I get to campus. And I'll simulate what this world is like for me. Just peace and quiet. So nice. Just kidding. Come out of that. Stop butt kicking. Hike it up. Knee to opposite elbow. Lift the toe. Uh, once this warm up is done, we're basically just laying down. So get her moving. All this heat, all this activation, all this heavy breathing is going to let that stomach, core, abdomen, trunk. Whatever you call yours, maybe Steve. Three, two, one, and then leg, a straight leg, touch the knee, touch the shin, touch the toe. This is the one of the really good ones to get the core moving. The hips moving, shoulders moving, but the stomach is where they're moving from, so. <clears throat> Keep breathing. Three, two, one. All right, we're almost there. <clears throat> Let's, uh, again, we're gonna do some planking stuff. So if you've got your staircase nearby, let's do circles, arm circles. Staircase nearby, back of the couch. Something to put yourself in a position that works. 
Okay, so we're just going to get those shoulders warmed up here. Gentle arm circles. And now let's make them bigger and slower. Bigger and slower until they're as big as they can get. And then nice and slow. There we go. So with, uh, at least in Regina, with some of our snow melting, I know Saskatoon PA has tons. Moose Jaw, I think, is the same as us. So in Regina and Moose Jaw here, our cross-country ski conditions are maybe dwindling a little bit, which means fat biking is coming to the forefront. Let's change direction. Comfortable size, comfortable speed. So fat biking is now the go-to activity which I think a lot of people already figured out because all of the 2021 fat bikes are sold out for the year from almost all manufacturers. That's crazy. If you want a new one for next year, as I was told, the order has to go in now for a 2022 fat bike for next year. All right, bigger and slower, bigger and slower, bigger and slower. So guess what? Order's in. New one coming next year. Presuming next year comes, right? All right, three, two, one. All right, let's do a couple reverse lunges with the arms sweeping above our head. So a nice big step back, sweep up, maybe look at your hands. The size of your step is your size. And you're going to go as low as you want with this. This wakes up a little bit of balance. Even though the workout today has no balance. And your day might include sitting in a chair. So this might be the one and only time you get to <coughs> challenge your balance. Uh, during the day, while you're working, this is an excellent... 20 second movement break. Get up and do a couple of these. And then sit back down. Last one here. And come out of that. And let's get the show on the road. All right. Get in the mat. So we're on a we're on a clock that runs 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Okay? Working for 30, resting for 20. And then we're repeating, okay? So first pair of exercises. We're, we paired, it sounds like wine and cheese, we paired a marvelous 1972 crunch, okay? So up in the beginning position, lower back is flat on, or sorry, not flat on the ground. Not flat, there's a little space here. And this exercise is perfect for everybody, no matter how strong, or not strong you are, this fits everybody's ability. Because now, you're gonna pick a spot on the ceiling about two feet down from where your face is. So not straight up, but just two feet down. And then aim your hands towards it. And then using your chest, reach towards it, okay? And that's it. Don't reach with your head. Your head will follow, but it doesn't lead, okay? And if your chest doesn't rise, if your shoulders don't leave the floor, that's okay. It's just a matter of you trying and then relaxing. And trying and relaxing. Okay, crunch. That's paired with side plank. So then we do a 20 second rest. And a side plank on the knees or the elbows. Or the feet and the hand. Now the feet can be stacked or they can be one in front of each other. Okay. We'll do a side plank one way, and then a side plank the other way, and just roll through that, just like the your rotisserie chicken on a, on a barbecue. All right, we're going in 10 seconds. Mmm, <clears throat> chicken. All right, ready crunches. Three, two, one. And we're crunching. <clears throat> now, if you are able to get your shoulders off the mat, congratulations, they should not come more than two inches, okay? So this is one of those things where more is not better. If coming off the mat's actually pretty easy for you, 
because of how strong you are, or how light your body is, or how amazing you are, then when you come back down, don't rest on the floor. Get a rest. Sorry, rest. Uh, don't come to a complete rest on the floor, but kind of hover and then come back up. So you're basically doing a little pulse with no rest. Alright. <clears throat> Side plank. In five. Three, two, one. And rock. Now this is just holding. Alright, so you've got the position that works for you. Uh, if you're on your knees and your elbow, that's fantastic. If that's still too hard, then all you do is go down to the floor, take one breath, and then pop back up. And then just rejoin. And you're living the dream. We have five seconds to go. Three, two, one. And rest. Okay, now we're gonna do side plank the other side. <coughs> Ten seconds. All right, are you ready? Five seconds. Ready, set. And off we go. And this is our opportunity to breathe. Can't wait. Well, maybe you can hold your breath for thirty seconds, but you shouldn't. Okay. So breathe. This taxes the breath. Only eight seconds to go. We're holding and we're smiling and rest. Okay, one round of three done. It's not so bad. <clears throat> so last time we did this kind of a routine, it was 25 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Get ready for crunches. Here we go. <clears throat> So, we're just building. A little more work. And a little more rest allows us to do that little more work. And that's how we get stronger. With this one, for sure, you're exhaling as you rise. And rest. Nice. So with those crunches, if your stomach's doing okay, but the front of your neck is getting really tired, then you might just be taking a rest because of the neck. It's not bad for the neck. It just means your neck is too weak. Okay, side plank in three, two, one. And we're holding. And that's okay. If you don't have a background in rodeo or wrestling, your neck may be too weak to live on earth with gravity. Right? This is how we get it stronger. And this gets it stronger from the side. <laughs> side planking. Five seconds. And rest. All right. Get ready for side plank, other side. So January sounds like it's going to be fun outside in the winter, eh? Ready? Side plank. I don't know if anybody looks ahead at long-term winter forecasts, but <clears throat> let's just enjoy now while we have it. But remember, right after January comes February and then it's spring. Well, sorry, then it's March, April, May, June, then it's spring, but you know, spring is, as they say, just around the corner. Three, two, one. Come out of that side plank and get ready for crunches starting round three pretty soon. <clears throat> oh, five seconds to go. Get ready. Ready? Here we go. And crunch. Nice job. Keep your chin a little bit tucked. You're looking at that spot on your ceiling. You're reaching towards it with your fingertips, not your nose. And rest. Nice job. 
So crunches is an exercise. It's a really good exercise to have someone like me just view you sometime if you're curious if you're doing it right. Because it's important to do it right, easy to do it wrong. Side planking in three, two, one. Side planking. <clears throat> and we're breathing. So if you ever want a quick zoom, show me what you're doing. I give you a star of approval and off you go. <laughs> I just have my arm up for fun. Five seconds to go. And rest. Well, I think that might be the last side plank on that side, right? <clears throat> Get ready for the other side. And then we grab a quick drink and move on to part two, part B. All right, five seconds. Get ready. Here we go. Holding and breathing. For those of you who like a, a really fast, action-packed, dynamic workout, this obviously isn't up your alley, but it gives you the strength to do even better in those dynamic, action-packed workouts. So, this is still good for you. Almost done. And wrap that up. All right, grab a quick drink. And uh, let's look at part B. Okay, part B. Oh, plank toe taps combined with V-sit. All right, plank toe taps, if you recall, just looks like this. If that uh, bounding thing, that spring thing, just isn't there for you, not happening, then uh, you step out with both feet and then in with both feet. And to make it easier, make the step smaller, okay? Make it harder, obviously bigger. And then if holding that whole thing for the full 30 seconds is just impossible, you just take a knee, breathe, and then resume. V set. Here we go, you're not, sorry, don't here we go. This is me showing you. Reach it out and bring it back. V sets. Maybe the hands are on the floor. Maybe the heels go halfway out and touch the floor. Maybe you're holding onto your thighs. Okay, halfway through you just take a breath break and keep going. That's how we make that work. So it's 30 on, 20 off, three rounds, going in 10. Your stomach muscles love this, by the way. Get ready, plank toe taps. Here we go, 30 seconds. As they said in the 80s, feel the burn. <clears throat> Rest. Does that feel like the hardest thing we've done so far? Yeah. I also questioned it a little bit. That's okay, it's only three rounds and we've done one, so it's two left. We'll survive. Okay, V-sit in three, two, one. Here we go. You're probably exhaling when your feet are furthest away. Ten seconds to go. And rest. <laughs> I guess I could have put twenty-five second rests in here, eh? Okay, plank toe taps in five. Another day. Three, two, one. Plank toe taps.
Keep breathing. Keep going. We're way past halfway. Almost done. Yes, done. All right, so if you're wondering about those plank toe taps and what the possible purpose is for doing something so stupid, well, that little spring that we're putting into it helps us do things that require a lot of oomph, okay? V sit, here we go. So, you've got to pick up something a little heavier than you can actually pick up. Big dog, dog food, snow shoveling, and you've got to give it a little oomph to get it over the top. Well, this gives you that spring and that explosion. Almost done. And rest. The V-sit doesn't give you any of that explosion. The V-sit is just me torturing you. For good, not for evil. Okay, last plank toe taps. Okay, ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep breathing. Oh, we're past halfway. And rest. Nice job. I don't know how that ended for you, but well, it ended for all of us, so that's good, right? All right, V set in 10. Oh, I bet you guys look just absolutely fantastic doing this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Keep going. That's halfway. Almost there. Oh yeah. Okay, rest. Full rest, grab some water. Maybe lie down for just a moment. Okay. Whew. So, oh, I was gonna tell you a story, what was it? Oh yeah, so if you're doing this really well, meaning you're doing these exercises in the way that I want you to, in that you're you're like barely getting to the end of the set. You feel maybe like you're failing at a lot of this stuff. You just can't quite do it. And it feels like, oh, I'm not there yet. No, you are, it's exactly where you wanna be. If you're just slightly failing at the end of a set, you can barely do one more. That's what we're doing. That's the, that's the point to this, okay? So then, the challenge is to be okay with that. Like personally, emotionally, to be okay with what feels like a failure every time you do some exercise. You're in the zone. This isn't to win an award. This is to tax yourself to make us stronger. So, <clears throat> we're apparently doing that, right? Okay, now we're doing bear walk with leg cycle. So bear walk is uh, hands right underneath shoulders, knees under hips, uh, toes dug in, knees pop up just an inch, and then alternate one leg and hand, and take a little tiny step forwards, and that's that, okay? The goal there is to make it look smooth. If something were to be bouncing on your lower back, it doesn't fall off. Leg cycle is lying flat on your back. <clears throat> Again, we've got this little space underneath our lower back. We want to keep that there. Hands on stomach. And then our legs are alternating reaching out like you're riding a bike. Okay? And your goal here isn't to be amazing and spectacular with the legs, but instead hold your stomach so tight that your body does not rock back and forth. 
So you're paying attention to your head and your chin and your nose. And if they're moving around, you need to hold your stomach tighter or don't reach so far with the legs or move the legs more slowly, okay? This is all about holding your trunk tight so your body doesn't move. All right, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off, three rounds, we know the drill, We're going in 10. We're gonna rock star this out in three, two, one, bear walk. Here we go. And this one, it's so convenient to just drop your knees down to the floor and take a breath if you need. So do that if you need. <clears throat> point isn't to die, the point is just to tax yourself. So this is the third pairing of abdominal exercises. It's quite possible that your stomach muscles are done, okay? And rest. And if they are, they're not coming back till tomorrow. So maybe you're just doing some mobility stretching stuff while you watch the rest of us go. <sighs> okay, leg cycling in five. Get ready. <clears throat> Three, two, one. There we go. The leg that reaches out never comes to rest on the floor. It might get really close, but never rests. Nice job. Keep breathing. Do not press your lower back into the floor. And rest. The hands and the stomach mean they're not on the floor bracing. They're not under your butt bracing. And we don't want to do that. Okay, bear rock in five. That's one round done, I think. Ready? We're bear walking. And breathing. Make it smooth. cycling in 15 seconds. We are almost at the end of this glorious Thursday morning workout. Ready in three, two, one. There we go. Tummy tight and we're doing it. It's also cool with your fingers if you can feel the muscles working, right? Try to see if we can actually feel the twitching and the screaming inside your tummy. And rest. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure I made this one a little bit harder than the last one, so. Okay, bear walk, last one, five seconds, here we go. Three, two, one. Keep breathing. All the way to the end, 10 seconds to go. It's your soul. Okay, leg cycling in five. <clears throat> Ready, set, and we go. Last thing, and this is the last thing we're doing. This is it. No more work after this. I 
when we're done this exercise, just stay lying on your back. Okay? We're almost done. Alright. Place the bottom of your feet on the floor so your knees are bent and you're just relaxing. You're all done. And give yourself a chance to catch your breath a little bit. And then just uh, follow me on some deep breaths here. When we inhale, oh, ignore the dinger. You stay laying down. I'll turn my dinger off. All right. So let's do a, a little bit of an inhalation exercise here. So feet flat, hands on stomach, and then a nice deep inhalation so the hands push to the ceiling. Ready? Here we go. And exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And now exhale and let your whole body just melt into the floor. And now feel how soft your stomach is. It's not soft and flatty, it's just totally done. And that's okay. That's what it's supposed to feel like if you're not holding it tight. It's supposed to be soft. Okay, that's the morning. <clears throat> oh, I appreciate you guys coming out this morning. Have an awesome rest of your day. And get to the weekend and enjoy that too. See you later.